This is a 16-year-old male patient with extensive caries and recurrent decay on teeth numbers 7 through 10. Before placing the restorations, we're going to go around the teeth and coagulate the heavy bleeding interproximally. To do this procedure, we're going to initiate the tip. We're going to use 1.4 watts of continuous wave energy. This is necessary to create a dry field in order to place the restoration. The central incisors will be restored with composite. The laterals incisors will be restored with full coverage restorations. The laterals are in lingual version, so we will be performing crown lengthening at the same time. This will be done in order to create a more harmonious smile line also. The tip is kept moving in a brush stroke fashion. Approximately two millimeters will be removed from the facial aspect of the tooth. You'll notice that the only bleeding is from interproximal anesthesia. This also allows us an excellent opportunity to perform laser periodontal therapy around the facial aspects of 7 and 10, which are in lingual version. Be sure and take your time. There's no rush. Always be sure there is a clear visual field. And because there is no collateral damage using the laser, as with the electrosurge, you are able to go back and forth over the same surgical area without fear of damaging the underlying tissues. To maintain optimal cutting efficiency of the fiber tip, you must periodically wipe off or flake off the residue that builds up. Unwanted gingival thickness is removed by gently beveling the surface with the side of the laser fiber. Before reducing the vertical height, be sure to sound the tissue with a periodontal probe so you do not infringe upon the biological width. Always keep the tip moving and periodically stop to remove the residue that's accumulated on the fiber tip. After completing tooth preparation, you are now ready to start with the tissue troughing. At the same time, the laser will coagulate any bleeding that occurs around the tooth. Here the tip is placed parallel to the long axis of the tooth and move gently in a brush-like motion. Occasionally you will see the fiber tip glow. This is an indication you need to pause for a moment and clean the tip off. To do so periodically optimizes the cutting efficiency of the fiber. After you completed trothing, you are now ready to take impressions of the prepared tooth.